Hello friends, this is Manak from Civil Center and I welcome you to the day one of the classes on estimation. So basically first let us discuss about what is estimate and why is it required. So estimate is basically the determination of the quantities of material in any building. We are discussing building here because we will do the estimate of a building. So why is it required? It is required because for starting any construction project. You need to know or you need to determine the quantity or the cost of that project because once you have the cost of the project then you can plan all your construction activities accordingly and then there also are two types of estimate that is preliminary estimate and detailed estimate in preliminary estimate or rough estimate you will get a rough idea of the cost and in detailed estimate which will also include the bar bending schedules and all you will get close to the detailed cost of the project so in our course we'll do the estimate of a g plus one building residential building the motto of this course is get you guys educated and give you the knowledge of quantity estimation of a building because once you'll be able to do the estimate of a g plus one building you can go for any type of building because the concepts are important now let us divide the building into two parts that is substructure and superstructure we all know about these two parts and in estimate also we'll do the estimate in two parts that is estimate for the substructure and the estimate for the superstructure so let us discuss what are the activities which are usually found in the substructure part so in the substructure before starting any construction you need to do the foundation which is the first member you need to construct for any building so the foundation can be shallow type of foundation like isolated footings it can be deep foundations like pile foundation so depending on the type of the foundation you have to do the excavation work in case of pile you need to do the boring works and after that you will do the sand filling and then PCC that is plain cement concrete layer and then you will do the footing or the pile cap whichever according to your footing so for that also you need to go for the earthworks you need to do the excavation for your footing so you need to calculate the quantity of earthwork and also after you calculate the quantity of earthwork there is also mobilization of that earthwork to another place because you can't keep that excavated soil on the site you need to mobilize that and on other place so these things also you need to consider and after the footing has been completed you need to calculate the volume of soil fill and after the plinth level you need to also look into the columns that is calculate the quantity of reinforcement and concrete in the columns and after that we also need to consider the soil fill but so why need we need to consider the soil fill so suppose it is a low lying plot and we need to match the level of the plot to the road level or to a desired level then we need to do soil filling so that the plot is at a same level and after that we'll go for the periphery wall which is the wall around the perimeter and in that periphery wall we'll do the sand filling and after the comp and after that compaction so these are the activities of the substructure part and in the superstructure you will go for the columns the beams the lintel the staircase the slabs and even you know the extrusions in your rooms like uh, which is called taja and also the kitchen counter and the plastering works so these activities comes under the core house part we will not cover the finishing part which includes painting and tiles and electrical plumbing will not do that we'll do the civil part quantity estimation up to the plastering part so these were the parts of the substructure and we had discussed other parts and activities of the superstructure so we need to determine the quantities of these materials so that we can give the costing of that and determine the total project value so friends this was our first day online class and in the second class we'll go for the after the introduction the first thing an engineer or an estimator needs to know is to how to study the drawings you need to study the artificial drawing and the structural drawing provided to you because from that only you will determine the quantities and from that only you will be able to do your estimate so in the next class we will discuss how to read those drawings and how to study those drawings so we'll study the architectural drawing and structural drawing and we'll move forward towards estimation and friends we guarantee you that after the completion of this course you will be able to determine the quantity estimate or you will be able to do the estimation of any of any rcc building and if you understand our concepts provided 
properly then you will be able to do the estimate of any kind of structure this is our commitment so guys see you in the next class bye bye